Today's video is a patriotic video. I love creating patriotic decor for my home. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump right in. DIY number one. I have one of these mini wreath forms and some um, jute cording. That blue ribbon, I don't end up using, nor do I use the jute cording now that I think of it. Um, and some flowers from Dollar Tree. Now I have this red, white, and blue um, ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I am going to wrap the entire wreath form with this ribbon. However, I am going to cover the red because the red was it was a little too bright it wasn't the same shade of red as the flowers so I opted to cover it and then at the very end I had to kind of fold the red uh, in so that you couldn't see it while I made the last wrap to uh, finish off the wreath Once I have all the ribbons secure, I'm going to start cutting off these, they call them berry picks. I don't know, they look like little thistles to me, but <laughs> I don't know, we'll go with berries because that's what Dollar Tree calls them. So at first I was going to just keep the branches whole, but after doing a little, you know, dry fitting, I realized, eh, I think they need to come off the stem. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of the flowers off the stem. And then I am going to make rows of three. I believe I do three rows of three um, of the red and the white. And then for the blue, I do like a third of the wreath form in rows of three but you'll see that as we get further into this and all i'm going to do is i'm going to tuck them into the folds and then i do use a little bit of hot glue just to secure them in place Look at us now, look how it turned out Look what it came to be, look how we burned out Look how I wasted your time, look how you wasted mine You say you always be mine, I said it all be fine Look at us now, look how it turned out Look what we came to be, look how we burned out Look how I wasted your time, look how you wasted mine You said you'd always be mine, I said it all be fine I just wanna run away So now that that's all done, I'm going to take some white 
uh, berries and add them to the blue, which will kind of signify the stars in the flag, if you will. So <laughs> that was my thought process anyway. Um, and I think this came out so stinking adorable. Um, they used to have berries at the Dollar Tree. I was unable to find them and I went to several Dollar Trees looking for them on different occasions and couldn't find them. So when I found these, I said, great. Although I only could find one, one um, pick of the white, but thankfully it was enough. So now I'm taking that jute cording to create a hanger. I just cut a piece off. I'm gonna hot glue it to the back. And then I kind of make like a um, like an awareness ribbon or like a loop, if you will, and then hot glue it onto itself, if that makes sense. Now, once that's done, I did get a bunch of like ornaments, if you will, from uh, Amazon. Uh, they're they're kind of like a um, not really a oh my goodness what am I trying to say <laughs> not really a cardboard they're thicker but they're not wood I don't believe but anyways um, there's a bunch of them they'll be in my storefront linked down below in the description box if you're interested there's like three or four of each design and I believe there's eight or ten different designs they're amazing um, so I chose the um, United States and I just put the uh, jute twine that comes with it through and then wrapped it around the wreath and then hot glued it into place and then I am taking this blue uh, jute twine from the Dollar Tree and I'm just wrapping it around a couple fingers a few times and then I just uh, cinch it in the center and tie it again with a smaller piece of jute and I'm going to add that to the top of my United States and that's going to cover the hole where the hanger is. And once the bow is secure, that's it for this one. I absolutely love this wreath. I think it's so adorable. I can't wait to display it in my house. Let me know what you think of this one. DIY number two. So I got these little stars from Timu and um then i got these stars disregard i didn't end up using them i got this god bless america sign from a hobby lobby it was 50 percent off and this um, hexagon i got from woodpeckers crafts now i'm going to take my terracotta paint in the colors ocean cavern red clay and snow bank white i believe it's called and i painted all uh well these two pieces not all of them um and now i'm just going to hot glue the words right on to the hexagon then i'm going to take my arteza uh, gel pens and i am going to take i end up taking nine of those no i don't i take 12 of them of the wooden stars and i am going to uh, color them in the red blue i do three gold and three silver and they are all like glittery so they're beautiful so once that's done i'm going to hot glue them kind of sporadically around the sign and the words
And then I flip the sign over and take one of these, I think they're sawtooth hangers, is that what they're called? Um, and I'm just going to, yeah, I don't have my hammer, <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> So I am just using these pliers and I am hammering in or banging in the hanger. Now I'm going to take the red and the blue um, twine from the Dollar Tree and I just wrap it around my finger a few times and tie it in the center of the bow. So now I did move that silver star that I'm working on right there. Um, so I moved it over to the right a little bit so that I had a place to put the bow. So I'm just hot gluing that into place. And then of course, when I was banging on the sign, I knocked this one loose. So I'm just reattaching that to the G. And then I am going to burn off all of the fuzzies. This was fun. Um, <laughs> like, I think I'm going to start a fire here. Uh, but I didn't. All was good. So just hot glued that right into place under the words. And then trimmed off the tails. And then I took one of the stars and just hot glued that to the center of the bow. And that's it for this one. I am so in love with this sign. I love it so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I wanted to let you all know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you're interested in supporting my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social media and say hi. I would love to hear from all of you. Now on to DIY number three. I have this block, glass block thing from... Uh, Hobby Lobby and then I cut out this decal using my Cricut and some tissue paper So I'm going to take the decal. This is so simple. I don't even know if it's a DIY, but we're gonna go with it <laughs> So I am just adding the decal right to the front of this uh, glass block and once I get it all down, I'm taking some red, white, and blue tissue paper, and I'm gonna crinkle it all up, and then I'm gonna stick it inside the glass. Now, I originally put the blue on the left, but moved it over to the right instead, and I'm just going to repeat the process with the red and the white tissue paper. So now I have this ribbon I got in a pack from Amazon. They will be in my storefront uh, linked in my description box. And it comes in a pack of like six different, five or six different um, designs. And I actually got two different packs. So they'll both be in there. But anyways, I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to make three loops and I'm just hot gluing them to themselves. And then I am going to scrunch it in the center and take some of that jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around and tie it in the back. And then I do take another little piece to cover the twine.
And then I'm just going to take that same ribbon. I'm gonna measure out how long I want it. I'm going to fold it and then scrunch it in the center. And I should have done this before I um, tied everything together, but I didn't, so I improvised. So I just tied that one single piece of ribbon in the center with some twine, and then I am going to hot glue it to the bottom of my bow. And then I do, well, I hot glue it to that plastic piece. Um, yeah, right there. That comes with the glass block. Um, and you can actually put a light in there. Obviously, I'm not going to do that with the tissue paper, but um, so I hot glued the tails and now I'm hot gluing the bow to the ribbon and then I'm just going to place it on top. I dovetail the ends, you know, of the tail and then fluff it all up and here it is. I love this. You could even take out the tissue paper and add some fairy lights. I mean, do you, you do you. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. DIY number four. I have this scrap piece of wood um, and it's 24 by 23 and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wood tint from Folk Art Home Decor in the color Walnut. I'm going over the entire piece of wood, front, back, all the sides, everything. So I'm going to uh, slap some on and <laughs> wipe it off with the paper towel. <laughs> And uh, again, I do this to the entire piece. And then I put it aside to dry. Now I have these um, stars from the Dollar Tree. So I am using my snowbank white, cavern, ocean, and red clay. And I painted all of the stars. And now I am just trying to find the center. I laid them out the way that I want to layer them, which will hide all of the holes from the hangers. And then I take some wood glue as well as some hot glue and then clamp them all together. And then I cut out using my Cricut, God Bless America, my home sweet home, and I add those uh, decals to this piece. Now it's white vinyl on a white star. Yeah, not my brightest idea. So anyway, I am taking the same colors, the red, white, and the blue, and I am going to dry brush so I'm taking the red, I'm dry brushing that on the white and the blue star, and then I will take the blue and I will dry brush it on the white and the red, and then I'm gonna take the white and dry brush it on the blue and the red. I bet you could have guessed that last part. But anyways, <laughs> and then I'm just wiping off the paint on the vinyl because I want the vinyl to be white and this way it will show up on the white star. So once I'm done with that, I take my container with a bunch of laser cutouts and I found these flowers, but they almost look like fireworks. So that's what I'm using them for. So I'm just going to take my gel pens and I color a red, white, and a silver, and then a red, white, and a gold. Um, and now I'm just going to hot glue those to the corners. And then I have another one of these um, Oh my goodness, ornaments from Amazon, and I'm sorry it's out of frame. This is a big piece, and my 
camera just doesn't zoom out that much. So um, you'll see it though in the final reveal. So um, now I'm taking my uh, twine and I am making a finger bow. And I can't describe it, but I will link uh, Brenda's video from um, Rustic and Lace. I will try to find her video and link it below. She does a really good tutorial on it. So then I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of the flag that the girl is holding uh, in that ornament. And again, you'll see it in just a moment. I apologize. It's just the piece is enormous. So, <laughs> um, and I hot glue the um, flowers into place and that's it for this one. I am so absolutely in love with this piece. I, I just adore it. Let me know what you guys think of it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love doing patriotic stuff, like I told you before. Uh, and I love these terracotta paints. The colors are amazing. If you did enjoy this video, I hope you will give it a great big thumbs up. It really helps me out with YouTube and lets them know you enjoy my content so they will push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next time.